Las Vegas. I love you, Las Vegas. Hi. You remember Las us? Vegas. I knew broad strokes. I kind of knew where I was going, but not how I was going to get there. So I didn't even know that. Dan didn't know anything. I didn't even know that was strokes. He doesn't know what's real or not anyway. Even today. It actually becomes very liberating, ultimately, because you just end up being present for the experience of making the show. And, uh, all the different characters that come and go, they change the, the course of the narrative, they change the, the, you know, the character of David changes scene by scene. Well, you know, I have some ideas to begin with in, in thinking about the, the entirety of the story from season one to season whatever, in terms of a rough scope of it. But then it wasn't really until, you know, I had to go off and make Fargo after Legion, so... But I also had to get the writers working, so I would pop in and out and have ideas and send emails and and uh, uh, but they're still coming together, you know. I think I think it's important in this in this show to make it up as you go along as well, because that's where the play is. Well, relationships are complicated, and every every relationship has its own set of boundaries and rules and. We were able to explore a relationship built on a friendship, built on, you know, respect in a different way, and what does it really mean to be in love with someone when you can't touch them, and those were all kind of questions that Dan and I were bouncing back and forth, and, you know, lucky we have the white room for, uh, you know, a little fun, but, uh, yeah, I think I think that's that's the heartbeat of it is what what makes that relationship so unique and special is that thing that is so difficult. You know, I I, I most of my career for years was in the theater. Um, you know, you just don't reach, for better or worse, you just don't reach that many people. And so when you start doing television and you're on a really popular TV show and you start realizing how many people out there see it, it's it's quite astonishing. It's very sad. I mean, when you think about it, I mean, she's devoted to this man, and she's been without him for two decades, just waiting somehow, waiting for someone who can help her get him back. And she finally meets David, and she thinks he might be the one. I might finally. So her 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 grooming and, and care of David is not completely altruistic. You know, she's really thinking that he might be the one to get Oliver back. And when he does, she doesn't really get all of her back, so it's kind of a double whammy. I, I know how lucky I am. I know how lucky I am. I feel really blessed, and Fargo was one of my all-time favorite experiences in everything about it. Um, and this one's so different, but this is exciting, and people are just flipping out of the show. I mean, it's so gratifying to know how people are responding to it. And it just, people come up to me and they'll say, you know, I, I don't entirely understand it, but I just can't wait to see more.